Today on Tech Tips, we're going to talk about another way to measure adhesion of a coating onto a substrate. This is a, a quantitative test, meaning we get a measurement, actually a value in PSI that we can now write down. Previously, we looked at an adhesion test method using ASTM D3359, which was a qualitative test. It gave you a visual comparator. This is a machine that's been around for a long time. I have found it to be uh, one of the units that's included into the test, but it tends to give the lowest numbers of the different devices that I personally tested. We're going to walk you through how this test works on a sample that we've prepared. This is a rock trim product, which is a waterborne polyaspartic polyurea on VCT, and we're going to check bond. I've already done that through ASTM D3359, which you can see maybe, but I'm going to sand a couple spots lightly. And then I'm going to wipe them off and apply a three-quarter inch dolly. Now you'll, you'll notice here the dollies are actually abrasive blasted just to help get good bonds so we don't have a bunch of glue failures. I'm going to wipe off any dust from my areas. I'm going to put down some adhesive here. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you clean off with a Q-tip around this edge, which I'll do in a minute, just to make sure that the glue doesn't give us a, a false reading. I'm just going to clean up these edges, this red, get the glue off. So now we're going to place this ring around the dolly. The purpose of this is just to distribute the force equally. And we're going to slide these jaws in, making sure not to disturb the dolly as we get it in there. The other key thing is to get make sure the feet are all nice and level before you start your pull. So we're going to start turning this so slowly, exerting force on the dolly. Okay, that noise indicates that we've pulled the dolly away from the substrate. So now we examine it. And what we find is that this dolly actually pulled some of the substrate out. You can see there is some glue failure on the outside. So this would be reported as a percentage of the substrate failure and a percentage of glue failure. And then we also look at this mark here. So you can see we failed at right around 100 PSI. Now, on concrete, that would not be a good number. But on, that, on this VCT sample we're testing, that's, a, that's achieving the tensile strength of the vinyl composite tile. What this tells me is that the coating that I applied to the VCT had a higher bond strength than the cohesive strength of the VCT itself. So what we can see by performing this test is not only that we got good bond, but that we exceeded the tensile strength of the substrate itself. If you have any questions about performing ASTM D7234, contact Rocktread. We're here to help you.